हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू डॉक्टर एस पिनायक मेड इजी क्लासेस टुडे आई केम विथ ए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फिनोलोन्स फार्माकोलॉजी एंड इन टुडेज लेक्चर इट विल बी इंक्लूडिंग क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ क्विनोलोन्स फ्लोरोक्विनोलोन्स देयर मेकानिजम ऑफ एक्शन कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशंस डिफरेंट ड्रग एडवर्स ड्रग रियाक्शंस and uh, we will be seeing interactions and different uses of fluoroquinolones so let's start the class uh, fluoroquinolones are the antimicrobial agents which are fluorinated compounds of nalidixic acid so uh, in the quinolones nalidixic acid is the first quinolone in the quinolones we have nalidixic acid and the nalidixic acid which contains fluorine in its chemical structure they are called fluoroquinolones and in simple way we can tell it as uh, nalidixic acid which contains fluorines are called fluoroquinolones so, uh, so we'll see the different classifications of fluoroquinolones just remember the classification remember it as lcm lcm after m n o p and g g this is the uh, word you can remember for classification of fluoroquinolones and here l means levofloxacin c means ciprofloxacin m means moxifloxacin n indicates norfloxacin o means ofloxacin p means pe pefloxacin and the two g's g indicates gatifloxacin and gemifloxacin so this is the word you can memorize while writing uh, or while uh, remembering the classification of fluoroquinolones and these all comes under fluoroquinolones and we have a quinolone that is nalidixic acid so nalidixic acid comes in the top so this is a quinolone and these are fluoroquinolones so this is the classification and let's see the mechanism of quinolones what is the mechanism of action of quinolones and uh, while talking about quinolones remember one point these quinolones are different from beta lactam antibiotics like penicillins and cephalosporins and these are different from sulfonamides whereas sulfonamides are bacteriostatic agents and Uh, beta lactam antibiotics are cell wall synthesis inhibitors and these quinolones are different from those antibiotics those antimicrobial agents quinolones bind to uh, dna gyrase enzyme gyrase enzyme in gram negative bacteria the fluoroquinolones binds the dna gyrase enzyme in gram negative bacteria and these fluoroquinolones they also have another mechanism they also binds topo isomerase topo isomerase 4 in gram positive bacteria so they have two different mechanisms and because of these two mechanisms it is a broad spectrum antibiotic it works on gram positive and gram negative as well and these by binding these two enzymes it binds or it stops it blocks dna synthesis and by this it uh, it acts like a bacteriostatic bacteria bactericidal sorry bactericidal effect so this is a bactericidal antibiotic Uh, and uh, this is different from cell wall synthesis inhibitor it acts on dna it acts on uh, uh, bacterial dna synthesis so this is the mechanism of fluoroquinolones so now let us see the kinetics pharmacokinetics of fluoroquinolones uh, among the fluoroquinolones we have ciprofloxacin ciprofloxacin is very very commonly used fluoroquinolone and it is a typical antibiotic in 
uh, in the fluoroquinolones. And when we talk about quinolones, we have to discuss about ciprofloxacin. Ciprofloxacin is available as oral form. It is also available in IV form, IV infusion, and it is also available as topical. We can use uh, topical route also. So usually in ocular infections, we have eye drops. So uh, uh, these fluoroquinolones are very much absorbed through GA tract. So different drugs have different uh, uh, rates of absorption. Some of them absorbs for 30 to 40 percent, and some of them absorbs 50 to 60, and some of them absorbs 100 percent from GA tract. And uh, absorption after absorption, they are metabolized in the liver and excreted through urine. And some of the fluoroquinolones are secreted through uh, active secretion in the tubules, and some of them are filtered in the glomerulus. So after filtration, they cause us excretion from the kidneys. So this is the kinetics of fluoroquinolones. Now let us discuss uh, different adverse drug reactions of fluoroquinolones. Remember a very important point. Fluoroquinolones causes tendon rupture, tendon damage. So this is one adverse drug reaction. Most of the fluoroquinolones causes gastric uh, irritation and uh, uh, some of them causes nausea, vomiting and some of them causes CNS related uh, ADRs like confusion and the delusion. Uh, confusion is most commonly seen, sometimes depression. So these are some uh, CNS related adverse reactions. So this is about adverse reactions of fluoroquinolones. And remember one point, in pharmacokinetics, most of the drugs like uh, some heavy metals and some antacids will reduce the absorption from the GA tract. So this is the important point about fluoroquinolones. Yeah. So till now we have discussed mechanism of action, kinetics and ADRs. Now let us see different formulations of fluoroquinolones and their different mechanisms. So uh, we have seen LCM, NOP, GG. So this is the basic word to memorize the different drugs in the fluoroquinolones. Now let's talk about norfloxacin. Norfloxacin is the fluoroquinolone which is available as oral form and topical form. It is not available in IV form. And its bioavailability is 30 to 40 percent only. So when we talk about norfloxacin. And it is commonly used for urinary tract infections and for bacterial uh, in, uh, bacterial diarrhea, so GH related uh, bacterial infections. It is commonly used. That is about norfloxacin. And next is ciprofloxacin. Ciprofloxacin is available as oral. It is available as topical, and it is also available in parenteral form. IV infusion is also available. And ciprofloxacin by availability is about 70 percent and the ciprofloxacin is very very important it is very commonly used in urinary tract infection bacterial diarrhea it is used in typhoid and remember one point while talking about typhoid ciprofloxacin was used earlier for typhoid but nowadays ciprofloxacin is also got resistance to typhoid bacteria and for multi-resistance typhoid fevers we have to prescribe third generation cephalosporin that is ceftriaxone 1 gram BD 3 days that is a, a treatment for typhoid previously it was used for typhoid yeah ciprofloxacin and it is also used in sexually transmitted diseases some respiratory infections and some soft tissue infections so that is about ciprofloxacin and next to drug is levofloxacin levofloxacin remember one point Norfloxacin and ciprofloxacin bioavailability was 30 to 40 and 70 percent, but levofloxacin bioavailability is 100 percent. Its bioavailability is 100 percent and it is available as oral form, tablet form, and IV infusion also. And common uses for levofloxacin is typhoid. Uh, sorry, it is same like uh, same like ciprofloxacin. So levofloxacin is same. And remember one point: levofloxacin is most commonly used for pneumonia, bronchitis and sinusitis. Remember, levofloxacin.
upper upper lower res uh, respiratory tract infections it is commonly used and moxifloxacin we have its bioavailability is 90 percent and it, its mechanism is same it uses the same like uh, cipro and levofloxacin and next we have betifloxacin gemifloxacin and remember about offloxacin offloxacin is also same oral it is available as oral iv and tablet uh, topical form and its bioavailability is 100 percent and it has same uses like ciprofloxacin and pepfloxacin is also same it is available as oral iv and topical route its bioavailability is 100 percent and it has same actions uh, like ciprofloxacin so these are different formulations of uh, ciprofloxacin uh, of uh, fluoroquinolones and remember very very important point while talking about fluoroquinolones they are commonly used for soft tissue infections typhoid it was used earlier days and for uh, respiratory tract infections and for urinary tract infections so these are common uses for urinary tract in, uh, uses for fluoroquinolones and next remember one point we have to discuss about drug interactions fluoroquinolones interacts with warfarin and theophylline these both the drugs metabolism is uh, decreased so uh, fluoroquinolones decreases the metabolism of warfarin and theophylline and it increases the concentration of both the drugs so they causes warfarin and theophylline toxicity so while giving fluoroquinolones during uh, warfarin and theophylline we have to reduce the dose of warfarin and theophylline this is important part this is one uh, drug interaction and next fluoroquinolones interacts with NSAIDs when fluoroquinolones are given with NSAIDs NS, uh, these fluoroquinolones uh, NSAIDs increases the CNS uh, symptoms so it impairs uh, CNS symptoms so it potentiates CNS effects uh, commonly confusion convulsions are seen with NSAIDs when it is taken in concurrent with uh, fluoroquinolones and next fluoroquinolones when given with antacids and some heavy metals iron calcium so their absorption will be reduced okay uh, this is the these are three drug interactions for fluoroquinolones and remember fluoroquinolones are strictly contraindicated in young children because in young children fluoroquinolones causes cartilage damage this is very very important point and it is strictly contraindicated in pregnancy and fluoroquinolones are strictly contraindicated for athletes because because of uh, tenosynovitis and tendon rupture are the major ADRs for fluoroquinolones and remember one point moxifloxacin among the fluoroquinolones it causes QT wave prolongation QT wave prolongation is commonly seen with moxifloxacin it is also seen with other fluoroquinolones but most commonly it is seen with moxifloxacin so these are some important points and uh, contraindications of fluoroquinolones I think you have understood about fluoroquinolones in this lecture we discussed about uh, quinolones classification different formulations mechanism of action uses and drug interactions and ADRs if you learned something from this video please like our channel subscribe and share with your friends thank you thank you for watching